I'm Josh Hill. I'm an infectious disease physician based at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center and the University of Washington. We are hosting a workshop in Bethesda outside of DC to bring together perspectives and stakeholders from across academia and industry and the government to talk about an effort to really advance evidence generation for infectious disease treatment and management in immunocompromised hosts. The immunocompromised population is really growing, and this is happening concurrently with infectious disease threats are increasing, and that's been well demonstrated now with multiple pandemics and antimicrobial resistance. And so in the past, it felt like maybe we were able to parachute in, deal with the problem, and then move away. And there's also just been less uh, commercial interest and drive from industry to invest in the space because less people were impacted. But we really feel like that conversation is shifting now as a higher proportion of people are impacted by the, these sorts of issues. We think there's really uh, enough critical mass there and energy and momentum and tools that we can apply to improve infectious disease clinical trial and evidence generation in immune compromised individuals. The way that we've been navigating this over the past few decades in the field, and of course this predates me, is that individual investigators have applied to the NIH for funding, they've achieved funding for a five-year or seven-year grant, and then have had to build their own mini empire, their own mini network or infrastructure to implement these sorts of trials to answer specific targeted questions. And the issue with that is that the timeline is quite protracted to get that to happen. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of inefficiency if you want to come back and do a similar trial for in a similar population with a different question. And so we get these kind of movements in the field in fits and spurts, uh, but we don't get any sort of sustained traction that allows us to efficiently ask new questions, move the field forward as new tools come down the pike. So uh, I think now is really we're trying to bring people together to create that infrastructure to allow us to sustain that sort of effort. We want to bring together 10, 20 academic centers in partnership with pharmaceutical companies that have products in partnership with institutes and divisions at the NIH to really work collaboratively together to move this field forward and make an impact for uh, our patients and in ways that uh, benefits both the you know pharmaceutical partners and our patients and the academic centers together to improve things. Fred Hutch is a unique place for this to happen. We have just extensive expertise and experience in building networks. We can think of the HVTN, of course. We can think of the COVID prevention network. We can think of the Women's Health Initiative. We also have a very large cancer infectious disease program, a very large solid organ transplant infectious disease program, and then Seattle Children's Hospital through this cancer consortium, uh, we, we kind of tick all the boxes with uh, the patient populations and the expertise needed to implement this. But we really just need you know a dedicated and centralized group of people that are like-minded and want to push this forward. And so we hope to collaborate with our colleagues across the country to really make this happen.